Florida's coral reef stretches approximately 360 miles from Dry Tortugas National Park west of the key to the St. Lucie Inlet in Martin County. Yeah, but huge sections are under attack from pollution and climate change and deadly diseases. Today we're showing you a new effort to protect and preserve a rare species of native coral and encourage future growth. Off the coast of South Florida, divers with the Frost Museum of Science are keeping a close eye on our coral reefs. Some species of coral are all but extinct, including the rare pillar coral, which is among several falling victim to something called stony coral tissue loss disease. It was first documented in 2014, right here in Southeast Florida, and has been progressively moving through the Keys, and now more recently in the Caribbean and it's causing extreme mortalities amongst the corals that it infects. Lesions are the first evidence of disease. And those lesions spread very quickly, and in a matter of weeks to just a few months, it can kill an entire coral colony that could be hundreds of years old. In an effort to preserve the dying species, clusters of pillar coral brought in from Dry Tortugas National Park are now growing here at the Frost Museum of Science in downtown Miami. So we tried to get ahead of the curve there since that was the last place where the disease hadn't spread yet. We send it through 30 days of quarantine. We're watching it really closely and we're also giving it a bit of antibiotics just to make sure it's not bringing any disease with it um, to affect any of our happy corals here. Scientists here are working on ways to preserve the genetic diversity of these corals so they can be spawned in the lab, reared, and then re-released once there are solutions for these deadly diseases. It may not be these exact corals, but some very recent uh, technologies have allowed us to spawn these corals in the lab setting and then rear their offspring, which can be outplanted back out to the reef. Several miles inland, 15-year-old Austin Mortazavi with Boy Scout Troop 599 is doing his part to support the effort, building trees that will serve as artificial reefs at Dry Tortugas National Park. Essentially, it's a whole bunch of PVC pipes held by rope that they'll connect some coral to them and then once put in the ocean the coral will grow forming coral reefs. If we all could just come together and make the ocean cleaner that would be amazing. Well done indeed. One person can make a difference. Troop 599 set out to make seven artificial coral reefs trees but wound up making 12. Excellent. To learn more about the efforts to save our coral reefs look for this story on local10.com.